In this video I'm going to demonstrate the new Regex and Regex Builder APIs that were released with Xcode 14 Beta. First thing we're going to need to do in our playground is import Regex Builder. The first available syntax for Regex is using simple Regex literals. So let's create one called Reg1 and we'll use this notation with our expression in between. So for example, we can search for a digit, one or more digits, as well as A through Z, through a star there, and then a dot. You can see that the proper syntax is highlighted white, and then string or character syntax is highlighted orange. So if we tried to add two extra stars here, which would create an incorrect syntax, the entire string turns, it, turns orange. Let's delete those. Now we can do try reg1.firstmatch and we will put our two parse string in here and then run this. You'll see we get six because six was the first match June 6th. We also have the runtime literal construction syntax so let reg2 equal and here we'll just put in our slash s so we're searching for one white space exactly one and then we'll say numbers one through nine at zero or more. As you see, since all of the text is orange, we won't get any kind of syntax highlighting to see if it's invalid. Uh, you'll get an error at runtime if your syntax is invalid, um, but the types and the numbers of your output won't be known, so this whole thing will return a any regex. We also have the extended syntax mode, in which case white space will be ignored while you're typing. You also don't need to use escapes and tuples will be returned. So let's set reg3 equal to and here we can do our pound symbol with the slash and you'll see that we get the autocomplete. And now if we're looking for white space basically the syntax is we'll do open and close parentheses. We'll put our question mark and say space and again, white space is ignored, so let's press space a couple times for readability. And we're going to look for our two or more characters of white space or a tab character. And we can also grab our email as well. So again, question mark, email, a couple of white space characters to make it line up. And we're going to look for a word followed by any character. So plus, and then we're looking for the at symbol, followed by anything else. So dot plus, and then dot, and then com. So let's do a try. Reg3 dot first match in our two parse string. If we run this, we'll see that we get our tuple. We've got the white space. And then we've got the Peter Griffin at FamilyGuide.com. So the last thing I wanted to show you was the regex builder functionality that they added. So let's take reg1 up here, we'll copy it, just change the variable name to reg4, and we can complicate this a little bit. So let's add a w, star, and one through nine, followed by a through z, and A through Z. So if we want to have Xcode automatically convert this into a builder, you can either highlight this whole portion or you can just click anywhere inside, go to editor, refactor, and then convert to regex builder. Just like that, it does all the work for you. And the regex builder can be combined also with literals. So we can throw in a literal here saying that we're going to look for chips or salad in our string. We can easily go back and add one more of dot any. And this regex builder actually does work with capture. So if you want to just capture and not only find, you can put a capture in here. And that will capture the value that we're looking for. And you can also do a try capture same thing. So it'll try to capture what's in here and if 
what is in here is not found, it will return a nil. Looks like we're going to get some errors here. And if we check that, so the regex component requires try capture output and character class to be equivalent. Anyway, we'll ignore that for now. They also added capability for negative look ahead. So you could do a negative look ahead like that. Let's say you're looking for your literal white space. So in this case, we'll do S and then two or a tab just like we did before. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this is actually implemented yet um, because it's not found in scope. Again, I might be missing something here. Maybe I have to import something. So if you know what it is we're missing, uh, just go ahead and leave it in the comments and we'll make sure of it next time. I don't know if they haven't done this yet. We'll see. I suppose you could do a negative look ahead with the literal as well. So you could try your question mark exclamation and then put an escape like that. I'm not sure if this works, but for now you might be able to get around this problem with negative look ahead not existing. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day.